Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Where the Ballyhoo at? <laughs> I want to know. Oh my gosh, I'm getting reports of like from people that are like, oh my god, there's no Ballyhoo. And I'm getting like, it's crazy, but there's hardly any Ballyhoo. I don't know what the hell's going on. And then I'm seeing dudes that usually sail fish like trying to put together a bottom bite. I don't know. It's, it's who knows? It's, it's really confusing. But one thing's for sure the, the Ballyhoo netters are still out there. They must be catching them. So years past, I remember talking to some, I remember talking to a charter boat guy. He was really good at sail fishing. And he was, his first thing out of his mouth was like, if you told him that the sail fishing was really good and there's lots of bait, it's always his first thing out of his mouth was wait till the netters show up. <laughs> and he was usually right. When the netters showed up, the ballyhoo were gone. Like they, the, the ballyhoo disappeared. I mean, they're still there, but it's like, like the numbers were kind of small. <laughs> and the sailfish catches went down, and then the sailfish disappeared, and then you get another crop of ballyhoo come along, and then they repeated the cycle. So who knows? There's a lot of people fishing. There's a there's a the bait guys are doing really well in sails. So uh, I had reports that they were up there netting on uh, Saturday. But who knows what they're netting for. But anyway, it's just something to think about. I'm all for commercial fishing. But who knows what the hell's going on. But maybe over the next couple days on this new moon, we're going to see a pile of ballyhoo move through. So let's. I want to talk a little bit about the fishing. The fishing's been rather challenging. Get away from the ballyhoo. But just something to think about, guys. Something to think about. you got to have some checks and balances out there. No ballyhoo. Fishing's been slow. Hmm. Something to think about. Anyways, so we need some current to pick up. Uh, we've got going to have a few good days of some easterly, some southeast. Warm the water back up. Get things moving again. Get some flying fish out there. Get things rolling. Uh, African pompanos right now. Good thing to target. Uh, the African pompanos are down south now. You can target them on the eagle. They are there. Okay, so they just showed up. Something to do. The best. I, Honestly, the best bait I've like used for African pompanos is uh, jumbo size pilchards. I that's I've caught every African pompano except like I, I want to say like three, and the those three I caught free line in like small yellowtail jigs on the reef while I was targeting yellowtail, and they were all incidental. So it's just something to think about. Uh, they're they're really picky fish, honestly. So you gotta use light fluorocarbon leader, and they're like they bite like a permit. So uh, bait wise, uh, jumbo size pilchers are gonna get you a bite. Guys catch them on speedos. Uh, the guys that fly their kites down by the eagle wreck, they catch them while they're targeting uh, sailfish. So the African pompanos will jump up and eat the the kite baits. They'll eat the goggle eyes. So just something to think about, you know, something you, I know that you guys have got African Pompano on your bucket list and you want to knock them off. So uh, now's the time. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have the African Pompanos there and then you're going to have the permit show up and they're going to be mixed in. So that's going to happen here pretty soon. I'll let you guys know when that happens. So, uh, oh, like I said, if you can't get a hold of any um, jumbo uh, size pilchards, then you can try, you know, free lining um, small crabs. You can try um, big jumbo um, large shrimp. and That works really good this time of year. By the way, so just FYI, if you can get a hold of that, uh, big jumbo live shrimp. But um, yeah, now I know a lot of you guys are struggling out there that are on the troll, and you just gotta like hang in there and you gotta keep going. But I want you guys to go back into the podcast, into the podcast list, and I have one daisy chain that is always gonna catch you blackfin tuna. And when there's an early spring dolphin, we'll go nuts on this. So if you find a piece of debris and if you have this chain out, you are going to get a bite. Okay? You are not going to come home skunked if you make one of these. I can, that's one thing of a guarantee. That's a, almost a guarantee. I can tell you that. If you run it the way I tell you to run it, and that means you've got to run it way the hell back there or you run it in your wash, you are going to catch fish. Okay? There's a lot of glass minnows out there right now, and they're eating small baits. And that daisy chain is a gift to you guys, okay? It is badass, but you got to rig it exactly like I tell you to do it. So the title of this episode 19, How to Make the Good Karma Wah, Daisy Chain Wahoo Rig. I think that's what I titled it. Yeah, no, here it is. It's How to Make the Good Karma Daisy Chain Lure for Wahoo Fishing. 
Episode 19. If you're planning a trip to the Keys, you need to make that. Okay? And that's it. You need to make that daisy chain. You need to make it with the exact materials. You need to have your chase. You need to have your. You just need to make that. Okay? Trust me. And you need to run it exactly like how I teach you guys. Like you need to run it way the fuck back there or you need to run it in your wash. Okay? So that's just how you're supposed to run it. And that's where you're going to get the most bites. So if you're having one of those days or if you're complaining about getting skunked, then I, what I typically ask my listeners is, did you run my daisy chain? And they say no. Okay. So here it is again. I want to remind you guys. Go back and listen to episode 19, and I want you to make that rig, okay? And you got to make a bunch of them because you're going to get bit off. And if you have the ability to run it on a planer and you really want to get some good bites, you need to stick that sucker down. You need to, like, run some double hooks on it and put a bait strip on it, okay? And that's going to help. And you need to run 40 pounds, and you're going to get the bites. And everybody's, like, worried about, oh, my God, 40 pounds too light. Oh, my gosh. That's all I'm going to say. So run a 40, run 40 pounds. Yeah, if you get bit off, you get bit off. Make up some more. Um, it's like, and then if you, if, I mean, if you like don't want to run 40 pounds, then run 50 or run 60, but you're going to get 10 times more bites running this rig with, with 40 pounds. So go back and listen to it. You will not get skunked if you have that lure in your boat and you have good water quality and there's fish around. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, it's just a, you're going to like, you're going to put together some stellar spring catches and some like stellar catches now. And then like, that's it, man. That's, I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, I, there's some tools out there and that's one of the tools that I tell you guys, you guys need to go back. It's a, it's a kind of a, I don't know, podcast kind of sucks. It really does. It's just like, uh, said I was very leery about doing these podcasts to begin with, with, with some of that information I gave out. But, um, Yeah. So go back and listen to that podcast, and it's going to help you. So that's all I got to say. Uh, guys, that's all I got. Oh, uh, we are doing some major work to the app, so uh, I appreciate you guys being patient. It's a new app, and it's free. So we're really working at it, and right now we got, we're making some upgrades to, for the, you know, just, just to make things flow a little bit better, and that kind of stuff takes time. It's not like I can push a button and make it work. <laughs> I wish I could. But um, I've got a really good developer, and and him and I work very well together, and I'm very very lucky that he's that I've uh, that I've got him. So, but that's it. Uh, so just work through it. Be patient. It is what it is. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, please follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm catching. It's Good Karma Sport Fishing underscore FL underscore Keys. Uh, download the app. It's gonna be it's gonna be really good for the guys that are patient. It's gonna it's gonna be you guys are gonna be well rewarded. And you can download the app at Good Karma. At, I'm sorry. At um, you can download it through iTunes, and you can download it through Google Play. Check out my oh, and if you're looking to book a charter, uh, my calendar is filling up very quickly. So my next two weeks are basically full into March. So. Uh, like I said, if you want to get on my calendar, please uh, give me a call and get call early. Don't wait to the last minute because more than likely, if it, if you're if you're coming down in March and April, that I'll already be booked. So um, highly recommend you call well ahead of time this spring, especially for the month of May. And the month of May is filling up. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to be a busy summer for me. Uh, but yeah, no, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.